morning, you join me on the bank again, and we're going to follow on from last week's video just a little bit. Um, last week's video was about fishing crankbaits fast, like I, as I like to call it. Um, searching a lot of water, looking for fish, getting the odd bite, and then, then maybe moving on to, to fishing other techniques to catch fish. Well, there's certain circumstances where a crankbait's just not the one, and that's when you're faced with little rivers like I've got behind me today. These little rivers have got a lot of bushes, trees overhanging, you know, trees that have fallen in the water, and you need to get baits right down towards them underneath the cover. So if you were to fish a crankbait, by the time you got it down to the depth that you want it, it would be out of the kill zone and it's just not fishing where you want it to. Yes, you could use a sink in one, but you're still not getting that, that fall and that attention that you need. So that's where soft baits come into play for me. And the, the four in particular that I'm going to talk about have all got something in common. They're all from Strike King, but they've all got the Rage tail on them. And I'm going to explain to you in a minute about the Rage tail and what it does. But first, let's just show you the lures. So the Rage tail grub, a big, bulbous body and a big tail on there with that rage, rage flange on it. We've got the Rage Swimmer, which is a shad with a big tail on it, and that, that is a big tail, it moves a lot of water. You've got the Rage Ned Cutter Worm, so a small little Ned Bait Worm, but it's got a little, little tail on the end, just a single tail, and it's got that, um, that Rage tail on it and it just moves a lot of water. And finally, and probably my favourite, is the, um, the Rage Baby Craw, which is the one I've been using today. Um, and again, big arms on it, big, um, big claws on it and with that, that rage tail. So the way I like to fish these four baits is on a little Texas rig. So we've got a weedless hook with it hooked weedless and because there's a bit of weed in here and the snags and branches, I'm just nicking the hook point in there. And then I've got a seven gram tall grey tungsten uh, sinker on there and that's totally free running. And there's a reason I do it free running like that is because when it goes down, you get a little bit of separation and as the weight goes down first, hits the bottom, and then the lure follows. It just slows, that last few inches, it just slows the lure down a little bit and just gives the fish more time to see it. But you can still use that heavy weight to swing it out there and get it exactly where you want it. So the reason these baits are so good at doing what I'm doing today, and that's letting them fall through the water, onto the bottom, letting them pause, then giving them a couple of twitches, and then basically reeling them in and doing it again and that's because of the tail on them. Like I mentioned before, this Rage tail, it's got a big flange all the way around the tail on all these baits, and what that does in the water is it just, it gives it the most amount of action you could ever imagine. And just like fishing the crankbaits, you can fish these relatively fast. You know, I know that the fish in this river sit around the bushes and that, so there's no point drilling the middle of the river. I'll have a few casts to each bush, let it fall down, skip it back a couple of skips, let it pause again, and if you don't get a bite, you do it again, you just repeat. Okay, and that way you can cover a lot of river, travel light, one rod, a rucksack and a net, and you can travel really light, cover lots of water, and hopefully find them fish. So whatever type of venue you fish, and whatever type of fish you're after, having that lure that's working from the second it hits the water to when it hits the bottom is exactly what you want. So get out there and give it a go. Tight lines.